Please note, before we go into this video, that a kilowatt is not an amount of electricity. It's a rate of electricity. At home, you buy them by the kilowatt hour. And so an amount would be one kilowatt for an hour, a kilowatt hour. A kilowatt hour is an amount of electricity. So when a solar farm claims it produces, say, 20 megawatts of electricity, it is not telling you how much quantity of electricity it produces. It is not doing anything other than mislead you. I was recently asked to help with a solar farm proposal just outside Swansea and the locals were concerned about some aspects. So I decided to actually um, write to them and ask them um, about some of their claims. And in particular, the first one I wrote to them about was the claim that they were producing 20 megawatts, which has, has no meaning at all because, as I'll show you, it doesn't mean a thing doesn't tell you how much power you're getting out of it. It isn't even a measure of the amount of power it can produce. So I, having not got an answer to that, went along to the public meeting where they're going through the public consultation stage. And I was introduced to a person I could answer my questions who couldn't answer a single question. So I was then referred to, if you like, the boss of the questions, who again couldn't answer a single question. They said they would find out for us answers to the questions. The answers were as fundamental as you can make them. How much power does your proposal produce? How much electricity does it produce? And how have you calculated how many homes it can supply? They couldn't answer these questions and asked me to write in. So I wrote in with a detailed proposal to them, which I'm waiting on. But in the meantime, what has become clear by me engineering it backwards is just what they're claiming. CYP, the developer, claim that they could, could have a capacity to generate 20 megawatts of renewable electricity and contribute to tackling the climate emergency. Well, my first point on that is that is not an amount of electricity, as I've already explained. And secondly, it only could have. Well... One of the suns in the distance galaxy could be made of cheese. Could have is meaningless. And 20 megawatts is meaningless. So they've told us nothing here except to mislead the public into thinking there's a lot of energy coming out of this. So just looking at this statistic, which may surprise you. You see, what people base these figures on is what's called the nameplate on each solar panel and such as 400 watts on a solar panel, but it means nothing to what you get out of it. So let's take on average across the USA, the capacity factor of solar is 24.5%. And this means that the solar panels will generate 24.5% of their potential output. That's the nameplate one, the nameplate figure on the, on the solar panel, assuming the sun shone perfectly brightly right onto the solar panel at the right angle 24 hours a day. So this is an amazing definition to me because it assumes there's no night. I'm, I'm sorry, but in the UK we do have nights. So that is meaningless. If I told you that what you actually get out is just 8.3% of that named capacity in the UK, it may surprise you, but I will now show you the figures for that. For one kilowatt of solar array, in the UK, you get about two kilowatt hours per day out of it. That's its efficiency. That's what you actually get. So on the claim capacity over 24 hours, we would get 24 kilowatt hours, assuming no night and perfect conditions. In practice, we get just two kilowatt hours, which is just one twelfth, 8.3% of the rated capacity. Hence, 20 megawatts is really just 1.66 megawatts per hour, or about 40 megawatt hours of energy per day. In this case, the developer claims that the project could produce through renewable electricity for up to 5,300 homes each year. And in this case, they're using the internal calculations using off-GM typical domestic consumption values. So first of all, let's look at those typical values. Well, off-GM evaluates the typical household in Britain using 
2,900 kilowatt hours of electricity, that is 2.9 megawatt hours of electricity, and 12,000 kilowatt hours of gas in a year. So a house without gas uses 2,900 plus 12,000 megawatt hours per annum and hence needs 14,900 megawatt hours per annum to power it. A house with gas uses only 20% of its total needs using electricity at 2,900 megawatt hours per annum. So we now need to revise those claims they are making. So these are the revised claims. Option one for them is the solar farm can power up to 1,060 homes with electricity, not 5,300. And that's assuming the homes, of course, use electric power for their needs. Or, as an option two, they could stick with the 5,003 homes and say, the solar farm could power up to 5,003 homes with electricity, providing those homes get 80% of their power from gas. Both of those would be an honest, not misleading statement. But it isn't just this farm. The whole industry does this. And for that matter, the wind farm industry does exactly the same, totally exaggerating the amount of houses they can power and totally misleading the public by doing so. And of course the government are trying to do away with gas power supplies to homes, trying to do away with gas boilers. In fact, it's going to be illegal to even buy one. And so they're trying to get you to turn into a pure electric house. Mind you, that is very easy to control for them especially with a smart meter. But that is the absurdity of this situation. One of the most startling things besides the amount of power was the simple question of pollution and the environment. So I asked them, where's your environmental report? And what they said back startled me. And all this is on video. I have it on video. What they said was, the Welsh Government said we do not need to do an environmental report or an environmental study. This is for solar panel farms that are known to give off cadmium and lead. And as I pointed out to them, that near to them was a farm, Clanwern solar farm, which claims a production of 75 megawatts. This is a meaningless figure. But that farm has produced a lot of pollution locally and is damaging nature locally because solar panels give off carcinogenic materials, they wash off lead, they wash off cadmium and other things. There's all sorts of pollution problems with them. But the Welsh Government said there is no need for a report on the farm, even though all that's going to be going into the river catchment, something that concerns me a lot. Pollution concerns me a lot. No report at all needed. So all I can do in this situation is make this short video to explain the very first point, which is to do with the amount of power this particular farm produces. But this particular solar farm is no different to any other that's been installed or proposed. They all use totally misleading figures to fool you, the public. This could be covered in the environmental impact section. We haven't done any impact. We haven't done any No, we haven't done that. No. We have not been requested to do that. But this is a scheme that sits on the that threshold. So when we wrote to the Welsh Government, we asked if we needed to do one. And they came back to us, and that's all very public documents. See that on the web.